It's food. It's food. It's food. Four thought. 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 What's good, everybody? So, um, whew, I almost stepped in something. But today's my first day uh getting on the bus because of what happened to my car. There go my baby right there. Walking past her right now. Bye, baby. Today's uh my first day walking to the bus. Um, I haven't rode public transportation since my last car accident in Atlanta, like 2011 or 2012. And yeah, right now I'm just about to get it in. Can you believe that this was me just two to three weeks ago? I didn't have a car. My home was in foreclosure. I was like three to four months behind on my bills. And on top of that, we just ended up closing our business. So you can only imagine how I was feeling at this time. But God did a complete 180 on me. So I was able to get a new car, get out of foreclosure, and get current on all of my bills all in like three days. We tend to ask God for money to get us out of the, the troubles and, and the holes that we're in. When truth be told, favor will take us a lot further. For example, we can ask God for $1,000 to get a down payment for a car when we could just ask God for favor to touch the heart of the person that owns that car to just give it to us. It's all about the level of faith that you have. I am not going to sit up here and lie to you and tell you that going through that whole process was easy, but it really birthed it a lot in me. It showed me God even further from what I knew him as. It kind of took some limitations that I had of God off by going through this season. Honestly, when I was going through it, I was starting to get weary. I was starting to get down. And on some days I would be happy because I would remember the promise that God told me. But then on the flip side, I would get all into my feelings and emotions and it would just be a roller coaster ride. And I'm here today to tell you that I understand exactly how you feel. But when we go through the trials and tribulations, we have to remember to keep our trust in God as well as our hope in God. So if God gives you a promise, make sure that you hold to it. When you tap into the faith that you have in God, then that causes you to not give up. The Bible tells us that God builds patience as well as character. So you have to be able to persevere through what you are going through. You have to learn lessons in every trial and tribulation. It's in those times when you are at your lowest that God is able to teach you a lesson so that you do not end up back in the same situation. God's not going to give you something and you end up in a worse predicament than the predicament that you were in before he gave you the blessing. So never get weary in the point that you're at. Yeah, it might feel like your lowest, but you will never end up back there as long as you take the lessons that God is teaching you and apply it to every single situation from then on. It's not easy, but if you look at it that way and just change your mindset on the current situation or trial that you're in, then you will definitely come out. I like to look at trials and tribulations as stepping stones to my blessing. It's the way that I'm going to be able to learn a lesson to get to the next level. I would like to encourage you today to learn to embrace every time and season in your life, whether up or down. As human beings, we tend to be like, oh my God, like God is such a great God to have a blessing. But then when we're in our low seasons, you're like, oh my God, God, where you at? It's in those times and situations that we have to ask God, what lesson can be learned in this season so that I can get to the next level that you already told me that you have for me? Man, that fool look good in the mud, man. Ain't that fool look good in the mud? Lord, Lord God, I thank you for this food, this fried chicken, this mac and cheese, these greens that you putting in my belly, Lord God. I just can't wait to devour your holy word.
Now that's food for thought.